Hey guys, so another new feature in 3.2 is the Enhanced Export Dialog, which is a really cool um, new addition to the software. Um, it, it simplifies the export and it introduces some new features that allows you to kind of customize what information is exported alongside uh, the video that you want to export. So um, if you haven't seen the in-camera analytics video, go back and search for that because uh, that's where we're at right now. Um, I've got a bookmark of me eating sous vide eggs leaving my office. Very important, I know, but really nice for demonstration purposes. So what I want to do is export um, not only this video, but me coming back in and out of my office for a couple times. So I'm going to right click here and you're going to see in the context menu, I've got an export video option. So click on the export video option. And now you can see it's a dialog that's not really super familiar, right? Um, per usual, you can go in and apply filters. So if you've got rotation or de-warping or image enhancement applied, uh, you can apply filters. Remember, that'll increase your CPU usage when you do the export because we're going to have to re-render the video uh, and transcode it. Um, so any any one of these options down here that you change, you're going to have to transcode the video. But don't worry, you'll get a you'll get a little warning. So let's say I want to add a timestamp. You can see the warning just popped up. Um, Timestamp allows me to add uh, the timestamp for the when that video was created, obviously, right? So you've got different options here. You've got uh, short, you got long, you got ISO, and you got RSC 2822. So you can change the font size here. So if you want to see it more clearly or more prevalently, you can do that, right? Um, it, you can add an image. Image right now is defaulted to the NX logo, but um, you can go in and you can add uh, your own image. Um, I could add my uh, ugly mug. Um, which I'm uh, not going to do because, you know, I can adjust the size here and say like, oh, Tony exported this video, right? Now yeah, why not? Let's keep it. Um, I can change the op opacity so I can make it more uh, more or less transparent, right? Which is really nice so you can, can maintain the ability to see the video behind the image, right? Which is really cool. Um, for text, okay, I can enter here either plain text or I can use HTML. So just like we do on our, um, uh, on our text overlay same idea here so you can create custom HTML uh, to give yourself a background color or font size or style or anything like that you want or specific uh, information that you want to present here for example if you have a rule that says the operator must put their name and the time they export the video that would be nice for chain of custody um, if you have a, a video of a car Maybe you could put the make, model, year, the car, and the license plate number um, so that the officer that you're handing this video over to uh, can, can then have a record right on the video of what the car details were. There's really a lot of stuff you could do with it here, right? Uh, and the final kind of bit to this is the uh, rapid review. So we've combined rapid review in here as well. Um, so rapid review, you click on rapid review, you'll be able to go in, you'll be able to define the exported video link or the playback speed right um, and just like before you can still export into MKV into AVI and MPEG4 NOV or even executable um, so this is the enhanced export dialog you can still do multi video right um, uh, and so it's, it's still the same old features with some additional ones on top which is the customization the ability to add overlays to this um, to the video that you're exporting which, you know, it's been a feature that's been requested for a long time. So we're really happy to be able to deliver it to you guys in version 3.2, which is available on my.nevergrops.com right now. So go get it. Thanks, guys.